Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, you will learn how to build your own website to showcase your expertise or services without coding. The days when you had to know programming to build a website are long gone. You can now build a site within an hour or even less, even if you know nothing about coding. Check this out. I created the site in about half an hour. You can see it looks quite professional, but the best part about it is that it required zero tech skills and coding. The tool we are going to use to build a website without coding is called ClickFunnels. I like ClickFunnels because it's an all-in-one platform, it has a lot of features, but it's still easy to use even for people who are not tech savvy. And as your business grows, you can use it for other things, for example, lead or sales funnels, courses, email marketing, and much more. So not only for your site. You will find a link to a free extended trial of ClickFunnels in the description of this video so that you can create your account and follow along with the tutorial. If you use our link, you will also get our ClickFunnels course as a bonus. Once you create your ClickFunnels account, you have two approaches that you can use. You can either create a site or a landing page. Let me explain the difference. A site in ClickFunnels 2.0 has more than just pages that you would want to create about your business or about your brand. It also has a blog, a customer center, a store, and all those pages are interconnected. On the left, you will see an example of the site pages in ClickFunnels. We have a home page. We have the pages for our store, then the pages for the blog, for the customer center, for a course if you want to host one in ClickFunnels, pages for different errors, and other pages that you want to add to your site. You can select between different templates for your site, which are called themes in ClickFunnels. And to be honest, at the moment there are not a lot of them, but all the themes include the style for all the pages that will be included to your site. However, if you only need one page to introduce the information about your company, you can easily go with landing pages. And landing pages have a lot of templates depending on what components you want to put on this page. And there are even the templates that will be specifically for company homepage. So these are two options that you can choose from. You can either create a site or create a landing page. I will create a site in ClickFunnels. Once you decide what approach you want to use, you can actually open this page and start editing. The first thing that I recommend you to do before you start editing your page in ClickFunnels is to create your style guide. You can access it from the editor. A style guide will define how different elements look on your pages. This way, when you add this element to the page, you don't have to adjust the formatting all the time. It will already be added with the style that you set up in the style guide. You can go over the sections on the left and adjust the styles for headlines, subheadlines, content, set different colors, shadows, borders, the look of the buttons, and corners. When you adjusted the style guide, you can start editing the page. The advantage of using templates in ClickFunnels is that they already will have the elements that you most likely would use on the page of this type. For example, on the home page, I would use a header and a footer at the bottom of the page. Then I will have a hero section, some lead magnet section, talk about the products, about myself, and a lot of other things. Let's start editing this page, this template, by deleting the sections that I don't want to use. And after that, we will edit the content. And I will also show you how powerful the editor is and how easy it is to use it. When I want to delete a section, I hover over it. Then I see the green border for the section and I click the delete icon. I will use the header and the hero section. Also keep the section with the lead magnet. I don't need the section with the products. Again, hover over it and click the delete icon. I will keep this section. Delete the section about the podcast and about the blog. As mentioned before, you can host your blog in ClickFunnels. And if you have this section with specific elements on your homepage, like in this case, it's blog post collection, ClickFunnels will automatically take the recent posts that you published in your blog and add them to the page where you have this element. I don't need this element on this page. That's why I just delete this section. Then we again have the section with the lead magnet 
and the footer. Let's start by editing a header and a footer. I'm already at the bottom of the page, so I will start with the footer. The header and the footer in ClickFunnels are created as universal sections, which means you only create them once and then you can easily add them to different pages. You don't have to recreate them all the time. It also means that if you want to make a change in a universal section, you only need to do it in one place and ClickFunnels will populate the changes automatically. We will slightly edit the sections so you see how to use the editor and how easy it is. I don't need this image, so again I just hover over it and delete it. I can also delete this row. In ClickFunnels you will have sections, then rows with one or multiple columns, and then you can add different elements to the rows. Let's say I want to change this logo, I want to show my own logo. To do that I hover over this image, then click on it or click the gear icon to open the settings. Then I go to the image URL section, click on the icon. I will be able to either upload an image from my device by clicking on the link here, search for an image in image stocks, or select an image from the gallery. In this case, I need to upload my logo and click on it to add it to the page. If I create these pages and want to link them in the footer, I again open the settings of this element. In this case, it's a navigation element. Then I go to the home section or home item, click on it, and I will be able to paste the link here. Same goes for social media accounts. I open the settings, then go to the Facebook item, and then I paste the link to my Facebook profile here. That's how easy you can update the links. Let's say in addition to that, we also want to add some text, like a disclaimer or the information about the company here. I will add a new row with one column and then add a paragraph. To edit the text, just click on it, put your cursor where you want to start typing and start typing your text. Using this bar, you can easily adjust the formatting of the text. For example, make this word bold. And in the settings of the text element, which you can open by clicking on the gear icon, you can adjust other settings. You can switch between the styles that were set in the style guide. You can format this specific element if you click here. It will change the look of this specific element without affecting how this element, in this case it's a paragraph, looks in the style guide. We can also easily clone the elements. Let's say I want to add a link to a cookie policy and a privacy policy. Then I add a new row for these elements and I can easily move elements around the page. Just hover over the element, click and hold this icon and drag the element where you want to have it. By the way, if you want to reverse some change, you can easily do it by using this icon. To add the link to this text, I will select this text, then click the link icon delete the symbol, and after that I will be able to paste the URL. If I want the URL to open a new tab, I should select this icon and also can update the color here. Now we turn this text element into a link. After that we can save the universal section and as mentioned before, if we had this footer on other pages, it would be updated automatically. Now let's quickly update our header. We again click edit block. I will change the logo here as well, hover over the image and then select a different image. In the navigation element, you can easily manage which links you want to have in your header. You can delete some of them. For example, if I don't want to have the shop in the navigation, I can delete it here or add another menu for the navigation. Let's call it pricing. And after I create a pricing page, I will be able to paste the link here. I also want to decrease the font size of this element. We can go to typography and again either select a different style from the style guide or click on this icon and then adjust the size for this specific element. Next we have the hero section. I will make some changes so you see how other elements in ClickFunnels work. I don't need such a big headline here, so I will delete this element. Then I will start typing my own text. 
To do that, just put the cursor on the text element, then select the text and delete it, and start typing your own text. Now change the text in the headline and the subheadline. I also want to increase the font size for the headline. I go to the settings and then select a different style, like that. If you want to adjust the color, you can also do it in the settings of the element. Go to the color and then select a different color. Then you would adjust the text for this paragraph so it fits your offer and your audience. And after that, have a button. In this case, in this template, this button opens a pop-up. The label in the bottom left corner tells us that. And if you want to adjust the action of this button, you can do it in the settings. Let's say we want this button to lead to a different page. You can go to the settings, go to the button action. In this case, it opens a pop-up. But what we want is a go to action. And then we just paste the link where this button should lead. And if we want it to open in a new window, we tick this checkbox. You already know how to update the images, but just as another example, let's also change this image. Go to the settings of the image, go to the image URL, and then select a different image. I will select the one from the gallery. You can also easily adjust the size of the image here decrease or increase the top margin and adjust the style of the image by changing the look of the corners, adding a border or a shadow. Don't forget to here and there save the changes by clicking on the save button. And before we move to the next section, I also want to increase the padding of this section so that we have more space between the button and the next section. We can do it in the settings of the section by entering a different amount in the bottom padding. Then our template has a lead magnet section. That's a way for us to collect contact information from the leads by offering something valuable in return. I recommend you to have a section like this on your website as well. Usually you would showcase your lead magnet, something that they will receive in exchange for giving you their contact information. You would use some call to action and then a button. I actually want this button to open a pop-up we go to the settings of the button, then select Open Pop-up. And in this pop-up, we will collect the contact information. To see the pop-up and edit it, you go to the pop-up section here, click Show Pop-up. And then you will be able to adjust the look and the settings of the pop-up. Let's say I only want to collect the first name and the email address. And while we already have input fields here, I will need to adjust them. I go to the settings of the input field, then in the input type I will select first name only, because I only want to ask for the first name. If needed, I can change the label text here. The email address input field stays the same, and we don't need the input field with the phone number, so I can just delete it. In this case, the button will have an action submit form which is what we need, so we don't need to make any changes here. This information, the first name and the email address, will be submitted to ClickFunnels, and you will be able to see it in the contact section. Once you're done editing the pop-up, just close it, and we can proceed with our page. Next, we have the About Me section. I will quickly change the image and add it to the page. Then you, of course, want to adjust the text, the headline, and the paragraph, and I want to show you how to easily do it in a matter of minutes. You can paste the text here that you already wrote about yourself, and then hover over the paragraph element and click this AI button. It will open the AI Assistant from ClickFunnels. You will see the shortcuts to the most popular actions that you can do with a paragraph. Let's try this action and ask Napoleon to rewrite the paragraph. It quickly rewrites the text that you already pasted in the paragraph, and if you like it, you can either copy it to the clipboard or click this icon and it will be automatically added to the page. I think it's really awesome and it will save you a lot of time when you're creating the copy for the page.
Next, we have the section with the links to social media profiles. You can add the links not only to the text, but also to the images. Let me show you how to do it. You hover over the element to open the settings of the image. Then you scroll to the image settings section and in the link action, you add the URL. In this case, it would be the URL to the Instagram profile. Select if you want it to open in a new tab or in the same window and then go back. And just like that, you add the links to your social media profiles to the images here. You already know how to edit and format the text, how to change the images. And the next thing that I want to show you in the editor is how to change the background. You can change the background for a section, a row, and even a column in the row and an element. Let's change the background for this section as an example. To do that, you open the settings of the section. Then you can either select the background from a style guide. You can see that when you do that, the text color is also adjusted automatically. Or you can go to the background section and either add an image to the background or select a background color. In the drop-down here, you can switch between a solid color and a gradient. And then you can enter the hex code for the color or just pick the color from here. Next, we have the testimonial section. You, of course, will need to change the text and add the images from real people who provided you with testimonials. You can add your products that you want to promote. The best practice is to add both an image of your product. It helps your potential customers to visualize what they will get. And, of course, some description and bullet points with the benefits that this product will provide to your customers. Then you can easily add a link to a button in the button action, as we already did before. So once you're done editing the template and adding your copy and your images, save the changes. The next step would be to see how this page, how this site looks on mobile devices. You can do it by switching to the mobile view here. Then you would go over the page and adjust the elements that don't look that nice on mobile. For example, on the mobile devices, this paragraph looks quite big. That's why we would need to adjust the font size. You go to the settings of this element. We open the formatting settings here. Then we go to the font size mobile. Make sure that you're changing the settings for the mobile devices. And then decrease the font size. And you do it with other elements on the page. Once that's done, save the changes. Now there are only a few steps left before you can actually launch your site. First, you need to get a domain for your site. Of course, you can use a default domain from ClickFunnels, but it's better to get your own domain. If you don't have a domain name yet, you can use Namecheap to get your domain for a good price, and I will leave the link to this service in the description of the video. Then you connect the domain to ClickFunnels, and in the settings of the site, you will be able to select this domain. You see, we have ClickFunnels default domain, and I also have my custom domain connected and I can select it. Once you selected the domain, the only thing that is left to do is to make your site public. You can also do it in the settings of the site just by selecting public for the site availability. After that, click update site to save the changes. Now we can preview our site. You will see that this button leads to the website of ClickFunnels that I set up in the settings. This button should open a pop-up, that's right. Then we request the first name and the email address. And then we have other sections that were added to the page. And now our website is ready. I believe you will agree that building a site or a landing page in ClickFunnels is super easy and you can do it even if you're not tech savvy. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And I will see you in the other videos. Bye-bye.